What's going on guys? Big to be back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're gonna to be looking at the dedicated shooter cabinet. Basically gonna be going over the entire game list in this cabinet and a couple more things. So I said in my previous videos, this gun cabinet, the hard drive that's in it is actually from a company called Retro Lizards Custom Arcade by a guy named Joel. Shout out to Joel on this. This is not sponsored at all. I'm not paid for this, which just coincidentally happened that this hard drive that the customer bought came from Joel Retro Lizard Custom Arcade. This hard drive has every every gun game you could think of. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure any, any game you could think of that had a gun in it, it's got it. Everything from arcade to Super Nintendo, NES, we got Techno Parrot, Windows games, Sega Model 2, 3, there is a ton of games on this. Again, we're looking at around 182 to 185 games on this hard drive alone. It's it's cr pretty crazy. So helping Joel out, I did notice that he doesn't have any game lists. Obviously, today's date, December 7, 2021, um, you know, the game list might get added. Obviously, I'm pretty sure he'll add more games as he goes and he discovers. But as of right now, there's about 180 to 185 games. The only reason I'm stuck between those two is because about three or four days ago, Joel and I, um, he basically team viewed in and added a Sega, a Sega Genesis game and like another NES game. And we also removed a PC game. So like, you know, it's there. 182 is my solid number. It might be a little bit more, but I did notice that he didn't have a game list. Um, you could ask him for one. I'm pretty sure he has it on Excel or a LaunchBox database file, but I figured I'll take this video. Maybe he could use it and just go through all the games and such. Now, if you do, be sure to shout me out when you do order one from Joel, just say, hey, I watched Vic VP's video, just to give me a shout out, just so that he knows and you know where we know that customers came from. No, you don't get a discount, but it's just kind of cool to know that people saw the video and then went to him. It helps us all out in the end. So just be sure to shout me out again, Vic underscore VP. Let's take a closer look first at the entire game list. And then I'll talk about a couple of key features that I did notice that you should keep in mind before you purchase the drive. So now out the gate, this does run LaunchBox. You could purchase the big box license. I already told Joel, I don't think you need it. Um, again, you can see in the video of me discussing it, but again, this part right here, we're gonna strictly looking at just the games alone. So let's first start off with the American Laser Games. Again, I'm using the mouse. I should say the light gun for player one to navigate the system list on the left. So beginning first, you got American Laser Games. Again, you could always pause the video if I'm going too fast. I don't think I'm going to be going too fast, but you could always kind of pause the video, worst case. We're going to go to arcade. This is the most important one, honestly. Just take a look. Area 51, Big Buck Hunter. I'm going to go down using my Ario keys. So you got Beast Busters, Second Nightmare. Chiller is on this, Crip Killer, D-Day, Adventure, Galley Ghost, Lethal Enforcers. Again, this drive has every gun game imaginable. Point Blank, Rail Chase, Revolution X, Time Crisis, VS Duck Hunt, Again, I'm kind of going slow, so you could at least take a look at the logos on it. Light gun, I'm not gonna go into. I think that's just all light gun games. I'm not gonna look at that. We're gonna look at Microsoft Xbox. So there's one Xbox, original Xbox game. The NES. So this does play Duck Hunt, which is amazing. The Wii, I'm gonna make a comment about the Wii, but again, we're looking at the game, the game list right now. So again, these are all the Wii games. Mad Dog, Nerf, Resident Evil, Sniper Elite, Top Shot Arcade. We're gonna go to Sammy Atmos Wave. Got a handful. The Sega Genesis, like I said, we just added that. Menacer six game cartridge. Sega Hikaru, Brave Firefighters. Only quick note about this, there is no audio. That is an emulation issue. That's not the hard drive. There's just no audio. It's not been emulated correctly. Sega Master System. 
Sega Model 2. So as you can see, our original arcade is MAME Arcade. Sega Model 2 and 3 is also arcade along with Naomi and the Hikaru and the Atmos Wave. But as you can see, this does have House of the Dead 1 on it, but it's under Sega Model 2. Sega Model 3, Jurassic Park, Star Wars. The Naomi. As you can see in this list, you do have House of the Dead 2. PlayStation 1. I played some Judge Dredd. I played Point Blank 3. Pretty cool games. PlayStation 2. Time Crisis was like, even Crisis Zone. I actually had a real Crisis Zone arcade. I think it was monstrous. Super Nintendo. So you do also have the Super Scope. Pretty cool. Techno Parrot. Again, these are modern games that you could probably find in David Buster. So House of the Dead 4, Luigi's Mansion, Transformers. And then the last thing on the list is Windows. So this is all PC games. So we have Aliens, Banzai, Banzai 2, Big Buck Hunter 2, uh, Big Buck Hunter Arcade was just added. Block King Bolster, Blue Estate, modern PC game. Friction was pretty cool. Haunted Museum 1 and 2. You might find those in Techno Parrot, but he has it like my drives. That is on its own PC game. Afghan Heavy Fire. This game doesn't really run. It's an emulation thing. It's not his issue. House is Dead 3. Mad Bullets. Operation Ghost. Time Crisis 5. Silent Hill. So as you can see, that is the entire, as of right now, list of all the games. So you could always go through all the games, but me personally, I do like going through the platforms and such. So now again, as you can see, no mouse and keyboard needed, especially with this certain setup with LaunchBox. And I did mention to Joel, I don't know what it looks like with Big Box. Big Box, I'm pretty sure you can use up, down, and enter, it's like hyperspin. But as you can see right now with LaunchBox, I mean, instead of me like exiting and then going back and then I got to pick a system and I mean, this to me is like a no brainer. So if I wanted to, you know, let's say, I don't know, launch uh, Time Crisis 3, one, two, three, I'll hold down enter and then it'll boot. So I'm able to quickly pick the system and pick the game. So I already mentioned to Joel again, videos are always helpful for customers. I just think that this is like the best way to go i think it's just so easy i was going to say maybe put it to hyperspin but just this alone this is perfect so another thing to mention is the two player setup so this does obviously have two guns on it so you could get two this customer specifically did the gun for ir jolts um i'm talking to raymond from rpeg electronics that makes the guns and modifies them um you know it is a lot of work to modify these you're talking about dissecting rewiring making sure the recoil works on it. There's a lot to it. Um, it's, it, there's a price that you pay for this. Um, the one below these, again, these are Jolt guns, amazing guns, I do love these. The one below it I would say is to do an aim track with the recoil. Recoil is a big deal, I always just recoils on it. So going back to what I was saying, that there are two guns obviously, but not all the systems will run two guns perfectly, I should say. For example, like you could do two player, um, PlayStation, I don't believe the second player will work, but honestly, you don't want to do this because it's going to split the screen in half and it's, it's just awful. Unless you have like a 120 inch screen or, you know, 85 inch, it's, this right here is just not enjoyable to be brutally honest. I wouldn't even look at it like this. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this. So I'm going to exit out. That's one thing to note is that there are a good majority of two player games. So keep in mind again, this is a Time Crisis 1 cabinet, or I should just say Time Crisis in general. So for example, Time Crisis 1 is under MAME Arcade. Time Crisis 1 is a one player game, so the second gun won't work obviously. And this game does utilize the pedal. Do you need the pedal? No, it's a cool novelty. If you really think about it, only the Time Crises will work. So you have about five games, including Crisis Zone. Time Crisis 5 will not work with the pedal because in real life, Time Crisis 5 is a dual pedal setup, which RPEG Electronics does sell, but in this certain specific situation, it won't work 
correctly. Again, I can't boast enough about the gun for IR. Um, I haven't tested the other ones. I haven't tested Sindin and all that. I don't know which one is better, but definitely the fact that recoil, I believe recoil is a must. And again, I do have the pedal on the floor, but I could also use the gun, the button that's on the gun to use it. So I can't, ex I can't, I, I can't exaggerate enough. The recoil is just a must. And what's so cool about gun for IR is that I didn't have to calibrate the screen. It's basically dedicated to the four infrared sensors. I could be anywhere. I could be anyone height, distance, length apart. And honestly, it is pretty, and I'm pretty close right now. As you can see, I'm close to the screen and it's registering it. So again, amazing drive by Joel Retro Lizard. I can't, I can't boast about it enough. The only one thing I do want to mention, I'm going to turn the recoil off is that not all the Wii games will work. That's a granted thing though, keep that in mind. Not all the Wii games work because some of the Wii games do need um, the nunchuck, like left, right, up and down to navigate. I don't remember exactly what game. I think it was like maybe Sniper Elite. Again, it's a handful of games that don't work. But again, granted, this only has two buttons on the actual gun so you can't go left right up and down um maybe a gun like the sindin which joel mentioned that sindin because it has a d-pad on it you will be able to work that but not all the games will run basically some games like even on the main screen it'll tell you hey you got to plug the, the you have to plug the nunchuck in and you can't continue from there so again out of like whatever amount of Wii games, I would probably say there's about three or four that just won't work correctly because this gun specifically does not have the D-pad input. As you can see, see here, connect the nunchuck, I can't even play it. I can't do anything. I can't even like try to attempt it. I can't play it. Again, basically from what I think that Joel did is that he basically found all the gun games. Um, you know, maybe utilizing databases, XMLs, like Hyperspin has a database file for all the gun games. He might have used it. So honestly, it works. Not all of them work, but again, you're talking about like four or five of them. It's really not that drastic. And again, for what you get, there's just a lot of fun and a lot of action with this hard drive. It is amazing. Um, honestly, that's really it. Uh, again, Jolt's. I'm trying to think of anything if I forget anything. So now you're going to get Launchbox from Joel. As you can see, me personally, I set the screen up for logos. He kind of had it set up with like the box art and the logo. But for me to fit more games on the, on the screen, I had to put logo only or I believe it said marquee. So we don't have all images, obviously, of the marquee. It's not a big deal. You can always download it. Um, but like, for example, we just downloaded Intake, which is a new PC game. Um, you know, I did, some of them just don't have the logos. And as you can see in the game list, not all of them have it. But again, I have this set up for logos only. When you do get it, I believe he has it set with like box art or whatever. But other than that, there's nothing really negative I could say about it. In my past video, you'll see when I was talking about the cabinet, I did mention one thing. If you wanted to, you know, ask Joel for the price difference on getting an actual name brand hard drive. He does put an unbranded hard drive, you know, to this. Me personally, I like my Seagates and I like my Western Digitals. Just ask him, hey, you know, what's the price difference on it? You can let him know that VP recommended it. No, it is not a big deal breaker. It's just me personally, I like my name brand stuff. Um, if you do have enough room on an SSD, you are able to take the external hard drive and then put all the data on the SSD, your main drive. Unfortunately, with this cabinet that the customer bought with the Dell, there wasn't enough space to put all the games on the internal SSD. So again, you live and you learn. Big VP Game Case Arcade Retro Lizards 182 Pew Pew Gun Strictly Gun Hard Drive, external hard drive. It is worth every single penny.